presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not <laughs> counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Brute, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, money brother, your you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. You gotta love it. And I don't think there's a place in the country that's not steaming. The thing is amazing, right? You know, we're steaming down here, there's no doubt. But in Boston, man, they're steaming like about five degrees more than we are. And it's been there five days, evidently. So that's pretty intense, man. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge of great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, by loving yourself and loving others. Oh, yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 18, NASDAQ's off 119, S&P's off 20, gold contract down $18.70, trading at $17.88. You got silver down 31 cents, $19.81, light sweet crude, flat. $88.66 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down a point plus 12.6 at 119.12. The 30-year off of two and a half points at 141.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 929 ticks at 106.922. The Euro is at 101. The Yen is at 135 and the British Pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you come out with a jobs number that was huge. Um, <laughs> and what does the market do? Market goes south first. Here, check this out. This is so cool, man. It's sick. Okay, so we'll bring up the futures for a second. You're going to see this shake out, man. And this is. Bottom line, you got a trader's market out here in a monster way. So what do we do? Bottom line, comes out with the numbers, right? Goes straight downtown. Now watch what happens. You see, see how the volume contracted like dramatically? Like, that, that's telling you that, hey, guess what, man? Yeah, the deviance is going down. Well, guess what? We're going to go right back up. Well, watch what happens here. You not only go right back up. So see that first big bar? The first big bar has 54,000 contracts, right? So then, then we make a low there with... 24,000, right? And then watch this. The first bar off has 86,000 contracts, right? And if you want to see, if you understand time in the trade, folks, you know, we're always putting the bull against the bear and let's say the up against the down on volume. That's how I trade, okay? So you can see when we, when we came all the way back up, you had 59,000 contracts going against 57. It's like, okay, man, that's a lot, you know, by the way. It started giving it up, and then when we came back down, we made the next low at 51,000 contracts versus 86 on the way up. That's telling you, man, we're going right back topside. And sure enough, what does it do? Flips right around at the 41.12 area, bottom line. What you have out here now is this. Now, let's go back to the SPY, and I'm going to show you what you have. So, this has been, no doubt, quite a run off the bottom. That being said, it's not over, man. You know, what you have here, see, see this right here today? You have 44 million shares, right? So you get a down day. You're going against 87 million. 
Bottom line, we do about 50 million. That's that's building cars, man. They, you find out more about markets, folks, on the counter trend move. And in this particular case, the counter trend move will be the move down because we're going up for so long. And there's no there's no sellers, man. That's the bottom line. You have no sellers, doesn't take much for buying to come in to accelerate to higher price. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs. Now this is this is what's cool here. It's just the opposite, actually. Okay, so what you have with the and, and the reason being is this is that the Qs already showed that they had strength on Wednesday. Then we went to a higher high yesterday, and you know, bottom line, you know, yeah, it was slightly higher. We only did 38 million shares, but you can see what's happening. It rejected lower price today at 318.39. You're actually going to have as much volume as we're probably going to have higher volume than we did on Wednesday. That's pushing a swing and you're pushing it on volume. Then take this and you're going to put this on a weekly. And what you're going to see in the weekly, the bottom line is that last week we did 272 million. This week you're at 232. You're going to do about uh, 262. Okay. Bottom line. And you, you hang in price. This is saying this want, keeps wanting higher price. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. They slam gold. And the biggest part of this when, we, when we're doing this, folks, is going to be the dollar. So, and bonds, actually, I'll show you what happened. So, the dollar, uh, gold, rather, gold, they slammed gold down to 1780. It's at 1789. You're going to see, though, the huge contraction of volume. So, we've done 160,000 contracts here. Watch this. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So, you're going against 174,000. You did... 160. Bottom line, you know, you, have, you, have, you didn't even get to the low of yesterday. I know it's only a dollar, but the bottom line didn't get there. It should have got there. It should have been able to croak that thing, and it couldn't. Now, well, first, let's go to the bonds next, because you got to put the bonds together. So watch this. You're going to put the bonds together with the dollar. So we got this. We're down one point plus 10, six. This is shot volume, man. You know, we got... 1.3 million, you're probably going into 1.7, 1.5. point, yeah, here it is. We're going into 1.79. Bottom line, this is just trading, period. And then we're going to take the dollar. Because when you take the dollar, the bottom line is that this benchmark that we've been talking about, it just can't handle this benchmark, man. I mean, and it's pretty cool. This is what's, what's, so, this is what's so cool about this, folks, okay, is that the, the amount of... Folks, and I don't blame them. I mean, do you know what I mean? Rates are going up. You think the whole, whole you know, world's going to go to hell in a handbasket. Well, guess what? It's not, man. That's the bottom line. You can see we got to 106.930. You're at 106.562. When this can't hold 106.792 on a day like today, that is telling you a huge amount. Um, what I would do, well, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing. What I do is I, I put that doll together with the bond knowing that in i don't have the volume on the on the, the currencies because no one does the volume on the bonds however i have and that's going to be a rejection of lower price and still wants higher price the dollar wants lower price the nasdaq wants higher price the s p wants higher price we're going higher man stay right there folks we'll come right back of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Best for Huey. We do appreciate your growling and prowling on us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 13, Nasdaq's down 101, S&P's are down 15. So what's happening, man? How you been? Uh, pretty good. How you doing? Good, good. Awesome, yeah. Just just checking out this real estate every day, huh? Uh, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, you saw that article about uh, Gainesville, huh? Yeah, so check this out, folks, okay? Now, this has already happened in Minnesota, right? Uh, Minneapolis. California. Yeah, in California. Not the whole state. Just I think the whole state. You know, they passed a law, and I don't know what... Okay, okay. So, what... Uh, was it Tallahassee? No, it's Gainesville. Gainesville. Yeah, Gainesville. So Gain Gainesville and Gainesville, folks, if you've never been to Gainesville, uh, Gainesville has uh, the biggest university in the world out here, okay? <laughs> it might as well be, right? I mean, I don't yeah. even know how many children are there. It's They're not children anymore. Bottom line is that what they passed out here, uh, they, have to, they have to do it again, okay, because it's a two-vote deal, but they went five to four, I think it was, right? Yeah. Or the five to four, that there'll be no more single-family neighborhoods, yeah, no more single family. No more single family. And, you know, the of course, the fights about this, people that want it, people that don't want it, uh, are pretty extraordinary. And, you know, one of the deals that has happened in the course of uh, housing in general is that as soon as someone gets into a neighborhood, they don't want anyone else. That's, that's, yeah. that, that's been a continuum, you know. I mean, who's yeah, kidding who, we see right? It, we see it here all the time, yeah. right? There, there's, they there's, don't want there's, any developments. No, there's no doubt. Once they, you know, I got here, I'm not speaking me, I'm just saying what people say. Now, I'll tell you my take on this, right? My longer term take on this is that no one I mean, if we go, but if we go fifty to hundred years from now, right? Yeah. Inside cities, you're not going to see single families. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You're they, just not. Do you know what I mean? Because you can build, you know, when you can build five up, and you're going to take the single family down. That's that's the bottom line. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm de I'm dealing with one of them right now. One of the, you know, basically, I I I have a a beautiful bungalow down here. And I'm not going to take it down. That's the bottom line. One, one second, I'm going to take it down and do you know, five <laughs> units. And, but it's so beautiful that I'm saying to myself, well, yeah, over the course of years, it would actually be you know, better. But it, it'll be at some point yeah, that, you know, it's, that it's like, down. okay, you get a million dollars a floor. It's who's kidding who, right? Yeah, I mean, especially being so close to Central. With downtown, downtown, right. Yeah, that, that's, so. that's what it comes down to. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why people are so, so against it. 
We just need more housing in these right because it, it it does and and there's no doubt and so like in South Boston where I grew up everything is all triple deckers I mean you know there are single families in trip but everyone has triple deckers I mean it's and there's never any parking, so I'm used to that. There's no doubt about it. So the triple deckers, they start off as single family homes, basically. No, no, no. Oh, no? No, it was just the opposite. So the triple decker, there's three units, yeah. right? And then what ended up happening is that those three units end up being in condo. Remember the ones I showed you that I did? Yeah. Okay. Then you condo it, and then you, you basically have three separate units that used to be a single, that they used to be a single triplex okay. that's how you cook you know what i'm saying yeah now they get a million dollars a floor a floor wow <laughs> that's pretty crazy huh now okay for the folks that are up in gainesville so let's talk about how you make money on this because that's the name of the game as soon as so best texted text me this this morning right as soon as he texted me i says oh my god i really don't want to go to bank gainesville but uh, <laughs> let me tell you a score i, I gotta tell you the score because it's a score and a half so the biggest amounts of money, folks, in the real estate business are made when the zoning changes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and in this particular case, what you have is that you have the land, and your risk is that it won't go through because there's, there's still a lot of, you know, so they only need one vote to turn. Yeah. And the way all, most city halls work, folks, you get a first read and you get a vote. Another month and a half, you get a second read and you get a vote. Yeah. Right? So, if you're up in Gainesville, or uh, you're going to school in Gainesville, you have a son or daughter going to school in Gainesville, this is what I would do. Yeah. I would go into the neighborhoods that are, that are the single families, right? Because I already did, I did about an hour and a half work this morning after you text, text me that. Yeah. So, what you do is you go in there. Now, if both bills had got passed, then yeah, you could just... Right off the bat, okay, the bottom line is you start buying because all what you want to figure out, you figure out what the land is worth, forget the house. That's what yeah. it comes down to, okay? But because there's one more vote, the way I would do it, if you're up there, is that you go door to door and you get an option on the place. Yeah. Yeah. So idea. the way you do it, and I've done this before, so the way you do it, you go in you give someone a five thousand dollar option, right? If you know, you give them a decent price. Give yourself, you know, a year, six months, whatever that is. If you don't do it, you, you know, you don't get it. Bottom line is that you could accumulate a lot of land very quickly, and then either figure out later how to get the money or sell the contracts. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of different ways to spin that, folks, okay? That's, that's a great idea, yeah. yeah. I didn't even think about the we option We might be taking part. a ride. Yeah. Oh, no, no, the option <laughs> part is where it's at when there's another deal. Well, right? you know, there's plenty of land up there, too, but you want to be closer to the university, too. So this is what's going on, folks. This is what makes it so wild. The, yeah, there it is, okay, there it is, okay. Thanks, Jay. 50,000 students, <laughs> okay? Incredible. In Gainesville. And I can tell you that most of the f folks that go to Gainesville, two different things end up happening. They're bright, and they normally have some bread. Yeah. That, that's, that's a reality, okay? You don't get into Gainesville, folks, without being smart. Yeah. That, that's, and it, it's a party school, yeah. but the bottom line is that, you know, kids are kids and adults. <laughs> and mm -hmm. one has nothing to do with the other. The, the bottom line is that it's a very hard school to get into. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's it a pretty high it, up, no, it's, it's up school there. up there. It's up yeah. there. You yeah, know? There's definitely some money up there for sure. Oh, there, there's no with, doubt, with man. With these kids. So. And, you know, because if you've ever seen um, a Florida football game, Oh, you, yeah. you see nothing like this. They 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 have so many donors, and they have so many. They all come in with these monster vans. And, and let me tell you a quick story. So for the folks that have been listening a really long time, we had a sponsor. Um, oh, someone's gonna help me on this. This is so long ago. It was Omega. It was uh, oh my god. Anyway, this company was out of Sarasota. And I saw something that I've never seen in my life, okay? Meaning that what happens with a Rolodex, okay? And how tight people are. So the guy that took over this company, he came from McKinsey, like a, which is, you know, they're just animals, man, basically, okay? They're, yeah. they're still animals, right? Well, 
And if you ever let one of them in your company, folks, they're going to take it over. Because that's exactly <laughs> what happened with this company. So picture this. I'm standing in front of him. Now, picture this is a good 20 years ago, okay? I'm standing in front of him trying to sell some advertising, okay? So at that particular point, I was selling, it was like 10000 a month. It was something like that, okay? So <laughs> what ends up happening? He looks at me, and, and this never, he says, well, that's not enough. <laughs> I says, what do you mean that's not enough? He says, you got to go get more radio stations. He says, because we plan on being a lot bigger than 10000 a month. <laughs> I said, oh, I, listen, man, tell me what to do. I'll go get as many radio stations as you want. That's, that's insane. And, and then, he, he, I'll, I'll tell you the end of the story because it's amazing. Stay right there, folks. Best of I come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 13. NASDAQ down 100. S&Ps are off uh, 15. So we're talking about the, the CEO that comes in. Well, what ends up happening also is that he went to college up there also, right? And... At, well, to make a long story short, he gave me the order. Okay, so bottom line, I was getting all these radio stations because, you know, at that point, we were on 30, 35 stations or something. And so what happened is that I watched him. You know, they, he would go from city to city, you know, pushing the software. But I watched him on the phone calling his colleagues that he went to college with, right? Yeah. And how many guys and women came out of there that right away, man, I mean, they were accelerating. Really quick, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just crazy, man. And, and, and just about everyone that worked for the company, you know, went to school with. 
I mean, well, two of my good friends went there too, and okay. they do really well. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's intriguing, right? So, yeah, it's, it's a tight nip group like that. Yeah. It's a great school for sure. Yeah. yeah. What a story, huh? I know it's crazy, isn't it? So one of our tigers here, Dan SGBX, uh, SGBX. Okay, he's uh, talking about the, so so. Let's pitch this company. This is a Spark, by the way. Okay, this this company here. This one. That's how it went. So they manufacture fabricated metal hardware products. The company designs and supplies containers for retailers and builders, as well as sells barracks for soldiers and mobile offices for aircraft carriers. So the lows are $1.50, the highs $4.80, and you can see they're still losing money. The bottom line is that you got, you got, you got to take in $38 million this year, and they still can't make a dollar. It's it, the business, this is the, what happens, folks. The business in containers, I, I, I went that route. I know quite a bit about it. Um, it's... There's less, there's just as much efficiency with a lot less cost and a lot less designing cost. And that, what that is, is light steel. And I'm actually, I'm actually doing them. Uh, but I started, I, the, the, the way I got to the, the light steel was through the containers. This is two and a half years ago. Remember? I yeah. mean, the bottom line is that I went and had every intention of doing the uh, containers and then I met an engineer and I ended up doing a whole different ball game. Yeah. There's, not, there's not a company yet that has been able to do containers and make money. The two biggest ones went BK and the last one that went BK, it, it, well, that wasn't even a container company. Uh, we had one huge one here in, in um, uh, uh, yeah, the more they sell, Dan's saying they get a huge backlog. That's right. The more they sell, the more they lose. I, I already know it. I, I, I know the, the company in Tampa. That's exactly what happened to them. As they kept selling, the bottom line, they kept losing. Yeah. You know, and they, they were hoping at some point you can catch up. Um, the company in Tampa had too much overhead, that's for sure. I don't know what these guys' overhead is. But, but the bottom line is that there's, there's easier ways to do it, including barracks and all of that. Uh, because what has happened now is that you can set up a factory, and it is so freaking cool how it works, man. So, best and I could sit right here on a computer, right? So you're sitting on a CAD right here, you're banging it out. I saw this actually happen. Banging it out. <clears throat> you have your factory here, and you have the, the studio here is about, what, 14 feet by 12 or something. Yeah. So picture, just about that long, this is what ends up happening, 14 feet by 12. And that's where the rolled steel comes out, right? So this rolled steel comes out, and it's taking your prints and automatically, right, making a rector set and printing it. So it goes down this, uh, the, 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 you know, the assembly line. It goes down the assembly line, cut, 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 M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, so that when we get it, this is how it ends up. It gets delivered. As it gets delivered, you're getting... There's two different things that end up happening that make this really efficient. The first one is that it's all light steel, and steel is great to build with, no doubt about that, okay? The second one is that the way it works, folks, is that they have these panels, and the way the panel works, the panel is approximately about 12 inches, and you have your finish on the outside, your finish on the inside, and your insulation in the middle. Now, inside of that, so check this out. This is really cool. So inside of that, you already have all the holes for your electric and for your plumbing. So watch how this works. You put this, you erect the steel, you put the cement pad in, you erect the steel, right? And then these panels, they snap. Incredible. One by one by one. And as every one of them snaps, right, it keeps making the whole thing stronger and stronger. And and this is the biggest part, and this is what they this is where the problem is with containers, is that you can basically design whatever you want. And anyway, it's the, 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 uh, listen, everyone's trying to break um, the normal building code. You can't blame them, man. We've been building the exact same so for well, hundreds yeah. of years. It, yeah. it doesn't need, so I understand, you know, the, this other company, start with a K, I think. Um, what ends up happening is this, this other company that raised billions uh, because they thought they could crack it. And what they did, they, they just spent too much money. They yeah. just had too many people, spent too much money. 
um, the floors were too big, and they got ahead of themselves. Because, you know, uh, over in the Middle East, the amount of orders that you can get, like, uh, two seconds. Give me 20,000 houses. That, yeah, <laughs> that's, how this, that's how this whole deal works in that, in that environment. Well, I guess you got to look at, uh, you know, what is the difference between if you have a regular builder do it or if you buy one of them? And yeah, I, no, that's right. No, that's right. And they, hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm not saying don't buy a container home because they're great. They're, they're steel, man. They last forever. I, I have them. I have <laughs> right down the block, man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just trying to explain that my take is that it's going to be light steel that overtakes basically everything. You know, I'm in. I'll keep you updated because I'm going to build, be building four of them in about uh, six months. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see those. I can't either, that's, man. That's going to be exciting. So, picture what I had to do. This is how this is how sick of what I had to do. I had to get a for every single because it's a whole new way of building. For every single piece, including every single screw, folks, I had to get every single one of them certified for 140 miles an hour in the state of Florida. Oh, it took yeah. me a year and a half. But I get it. That's the bottom line. No, they're not single wide. It's not even close. You wouldn't even. Wouldn't, the, so what happens is this: if you really look at a commercial building, what I'm doing is I'm taking a commercial building and making it that I can make a uh, a single, a quad, a, you know. That's and yes, the time frame. This is what you're gonna dig. This is why this is. Now I saw one. I saw a single built in 30 days. I'm not going to be able to build that first one in 30 days, man. Yeah. But I bet I can build it in 90, yeah. you know? And we'll see. We'll, we'll see. It, it, there's going to be a learning curve, okay? Um, you know, that's the bottom line. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool watching. Yeah, maybe you should buy some uh, steel stock. <laughs> <laughs> you are too funny. You, you know, get ready. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That, that, that is too funny, man. I'm ADUs telling you. and shipping boxes, huh? Okay. ADUs and shipping boxes, yeah. Oh, that, no, that's exactly what it is. It, I, I'll take a picture of it before and after, because so, you're, you're going to crack up, man. I mean, it's... Looks like, you know, the whole country is, you know, going this towards this ADU. Yes, uh, and they just, should. Just not enough. No, they should. And AD, and ADU, we call them carriage houses here, but the bottom the bottom line is that it's so where it's at, folks, okay? Because whether you have your children there, your parents there, or you get extra rent for your mortgage, it's totally where it's at. Particularly, yeah. what happens, I think, is that if you're from a city, that's nothing. You know what I mean? Like some people that look at some of my houses, they say, I don't want someone living behind me. I said, well, then you, you're living in the city, man. You better go to the suburbs. This is the city, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. This coming Wednesday, August 10th, Basil Chapman will be hosting an all-day live webinar from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern Time, where he'll be presenting the technical tools based on the Chapman Wave methodology, a full in-depth course on his entire trading system. Over the five hours of live education, Basil will discuss studying and practicing entry and exit points, assessing where to add or subtract from positions, utilizing simple technical tools for holding positions longer, taking bear charts and adding notations, tools, and patterns, as well as identifying identifying three core formations that repeat in every time frame and much more. When you sign up, you get a chart booklet emailed to you immediately to start studying and you gain access to his daily newsletter, The Opening Call, a $149 value. The cost to attend is only $295 and the full five hours will be archived. Don't miss this live special event Wednesday, August 10th with Basil Chapman. For all the details and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of the Huey, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling us out here. Now, uh, every week, Best has been buying something, okay? <laughs> so we get a big one out here today, and let me tell you what we're going to do, okay? So... <clears throat> For all you folks there in the gold report, you know we own this one, okay? This is Anglo uh, Ashanti, Anglo Gold Ashanti. So, this is trading 1488. Now, what happened with this equity, this is gonna be pretty cool, man. So what happened with this equity, folks, is this, is that today, this morning, I mean, I like this equity anyway, but the bottom line, now I'm really gonna like it, because watch this. So, the guy, first off, they got this new CEO, and this new CEO, he used to be the CEO of Valley, okay? So this guy's used to um, huge companies, okay? And what he decided to do, okay, is that now, picture, they're, they're based in Johannesburg, okay? But guess what? The bottom line, what he decided to do out here, and he's only been in the CEO of like two and a half, three months. You can see this. So they come out with their numbers, numbers are fine, uh, but this is what's pushing the stock higher today. What was going, what's going on is that he, they have an undeveloped mine in Colombia with uh, B2 Gold. That bottom line is disappointed, and guess what? He's saying, that's it, I'm moving it, I'm getting out of it. On top of that, he's got another mine in Colombia. And what's going on, oh, no, that's one in Colombia, one second, uh, Colombia, he's getting rid of that one. He's getting rid of another one also. And the other one, bottom line, is too small as far as he's concerned, to basically keep managing it. So he's getting rid of that. Well, the market really likes it because the bottom line is that what they're looking for, you can see this right here, he's shifted everything from like a South African deal and now he's in, okay, let me just see the exact, one of the big ones is Nevada, man. He's going to be uh, so what happens in Nevada, let me find the Nevada one, where is this? 300,000 ounces, yeah. They, they have an open pit mine in Nevada that within three years is going to do 300,000 ounces of gold annually. Wow. Now this is the difference, message, in folks. An open mine is so simple, it's insane. So it's open just like it is. They get a shovel, they dig it out, they put it in the sledge, the gold you know, comes out of the rock, end of story. Okay. The bigger deal here, though, is this is that what he's actually done is sold just about everything in South Africa since he's been there, okay? He's gonna end up being in Africa, probably West Africa, because that's where all the gold is, Australia and South America and North America and the United States. So the market's digging it, man. That's the bottom line. Um, so how many of these uh, you know, gold mines do they have in America? Oh, a lot. Yeah. We have a lot of gold out, really? out in Nevada. Nevada is filled with it. Really? Yeah. You know, because you yeah. never really hear about it here. No, I know. It's just like they I keep know. it on the low, huh? I know. Well, hey, listen to this, man. Do you know how it works, too? Listen to this. When you're, those licenses, right, if you, if you 
bottom line, you get the concession, you can go out there and say, okay, there's dirt in the middle of the desert. I think there's gold there. Then you go to the U.S. Mining Bureau and you say, okay, I want to put my stake in the ground. It's very inexpensive to put your stake in the ground. Really? Yeah. But there's nothing there. Oh. That, that, that's how it works. <laughs> I mean, yeah. no, no one ever wants to live there, trust me. Yeah. But there is a huge amount of gold. So bottom line, Best is going to buy some uh, Anglo gold here, man. Well, All let's right. do it. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. So he's got, in the portfolio right now, you got Vista Gold and you got Apple, I think, right? And Apple, yeah. I think you're up on both of them, too. I know I'm you up, are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I'm making a lot of money, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the year, I'm going to retire. I love it, man. All right, okay. I'm going to let you do this because I don't know where to search it. Um, no, no, you're going to, tr let's see, hold on. Tra you know what? I, I use the other platform, but that's all right. You're going to okay. trade, save daughters. Well, yeah, it's, well, as soon as we can, we'll have this set up. I'll have this set up. That's the, that's the bottom we'll line. We'll come back. Okay. Yeah, we'll have it set up. Um, yeah. So, and so if, if I finish off with uh, AU, folks, by the way, okay, this is now, we've already owned this in the gold report. I own it. Uh, Best is going to own it any second. Let me just show you something, though. My, my take on this is that you have, first, if, if this is the launch, we'll find out if this is the launch, because, you know, this is up good today, and it's up good on the aspect of, the news versus wood gold. So my take is that first it's going to run to this 1840. But see this? I love high volume highs. That's a high volume high. 24 to 26 bucks. And then if we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that we tested the lows. The low had uh, 29 million shares. We tested it with 14 million on the daily. We put this on the monthly. And what you're going to see, we came down on 54 million and you're talking about 140 million and 125. So bottom line, I think we're going to get some acceleration. Um, and they already make money. That's the, that's the bottom line. Which that, one is the biggest company that does this with uh, gold? It's Newmont. Newmont. And now, now check this out, though. Newmont's a dog right now. That's what's going on. So what, what's happening... Also, so the the biggest expenses, folks, in the in the gold market, are energy, concrete, and lubricants. Basically, you know, labor. No, no, because they no, I know, is that because what ends up happening? Oh, because they got the machines. It, exactly, and and when they don't have the machines, what ends up happening is that they're in Africa, and unfortunately, those guys are getting paid nothing. And yeah. they're dying all the time. It's, it's a dirty business, man. It's, it's a dirty business. There's no doubt about that. Um, so that's, there's something wrong with Newmont. And see, what very well could happen. That's why the market's digging Anglo today. Newmont probably has, you know, a big fundamentalist. And these funds companies would definitely be fundamentalists, meaning that they got to really understand, okay, how many mines they have and how many mines they're losing on. Okay. And I suspect the reason that they're like Anglo today is that he made it very clear on this conference call this morning that he is not going to go for mediocre. And it's really hard to shut something down after you already spent so much money. And that's what he's doing. Just not, you're gone. Don't know. He, he, exactly. The, the, the B2 Gold, which I, I know the company, they, what happens, folks, is that that mine's just about ready. And what they did is they did a test case. And he didn't like the test case. He said, no, I'm, I'm not going to, we're not doing this, man. Yeah. Um, and so what happens with a test case? So picture with the gold market. You get a big rock, right? Yeah. And then you got to get the gold out of the rock. So in many cases, right now, gold's trading at uh, 1790, right? So Newmont in particular, they're all in, let's say their cost is about 1150. Well, what the guy from AU is saying, he's saying, hey, man, Whatever that price is, he, they didn't say a price this morning, but he's not going to go after something that the spread is too low. I see. When, when he already has, and this is what the difference is, he already has larger mines that he knows are very inexpensive. See, an open pit mine is the least expensive mine you can have. I see. You know, because a lot of mines, you just shovel it up. These other mines, you know, these mines in South Africa, man, they get down like 15 miles, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so stay right there. Best is coming back. We're going to buy Anglo Gold. 
Uh, this market doesn't want to go down, folks. Bottom line. And it's about this dollar. You know, we come back in next week. This dollar can't hold that price out here, man. We're, we're going topside. Dow's up 79. Nasdaq's down 62. S&P's off 6. We're coming right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 56. Nasdaq's down 75. S&Ps are off 9. And, folks, you're going to see this, man. I, all you guys are front, uh, guys and girls are front running uh, Bestford here on his on his trade because I want to show you this. You can blow your mind. Uh, okay, so he's set up. Here, go ahead, hit that baby, review your order, then hit that baby and get it in there. Okay, uh, so place order. place order. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, and then. 1497, huh? 1497, right? Where is it trading at now? 1493, but uh, did, did, it, did it close? Did you uh, get it? I'm not sure. Filled, yeah, there you go, you filled oh, it. Okay, 1494 good. you got it at. Nice. Now look at this, folks. You talk about front running them, <laughs> this is sick. So look at the, the, the volume out here. Right when we start talking about it, it went from having volume on a 10 minute bar of 54,000 to 364,000. <laughs> to 561,000, so do that. Eight, 800,000 times 15 is what? Wow. That's, yeah, that's we, we get some funds out here or something listening because that's a front run, man. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a front run, you know, but, but that's exactly what happened. And God bless you all, man. Thank you, because <laughs> it's, it, and now, you, so check out what you have it. Now, this is a small ABC up. So you got 1480, it's a good one. It's a 75, 
uh, 80 A to B, that's going to give you 15 60. So, I so how long has this company been around? Oh my God, let's see. This is a long time. Let's see. Issue. Well, 2007. Oh, okay. It's been around longer than that, though. This is. This was. Uh, the last one that went these these are combinations. No, this used to be. Um, it used to be Ashanti. There was, there was an Anglo Gold, then there was an Ashanti, and then they combined. And Ashanti had all the worst mines in South Africa. And when I say the worst mines, what happens in South Africa is that because it's so deep, it takes it. it, it it costs so much to get the gold out of the ground. But the bottom line, they got straightened out. Another quick hour, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Now Hold you get back. free stocks, man. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over it. Thank God there's always another trade. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Thanks for that. Building